reading this book felt like a dick in my ass. A dick so big, it would just shock the entire nation, or at least the entire subreddit of r slash chonkers. A dick so big, in fact, that nobody would even comment how cute it is if you make a post about it on Reddit. They'd just be confused. Anyways, enough of that Penguin Zero ass opening. That's totally not a ripoff. Today we're reviewing, finally, another book review. It's been like eight years, so it's been quite a while. Um, last book review was seven years ago. I think it was for Please Don't Feed My Dick Hole. And yeah, um, we're reviewing My Harry's Adventure. And this isn't actually the right version. This is the different version. This is My Harry's Adventure Female Edition. So obviously this book is targeted towards 80-year-old men. This book is targeted towards 40-year-old virgins. Not specifically about the guy in the movie, but yeah. This is targeted towards virgins who are 40 years old. And specifically males, too. Because they, that would be a great audience for this book. Yeah. The reason this version, it looks like a normal copy of Harry's Adventure. And that's to the naked eye. But as you can see, in this copy, there's pussy hair. It comes with real pussy hair. I don't know where it came from, but and not only that, on the inside, you get also a tampon, but of course, I've already used it. And the whole entire story has changed the perspective of the boy's friend, Lily. And I think his name was, I don't give a shit, Larry. Um, yeah, Lily's perspective of this whole scenario and what she's going through after she uses the Insta-Tan. And it's very wild because it is literally just like a GYG book where half the plots don't even add up. My characters are now evil in a different plot line. And in another plot line, they're completely good. Uh, yeah, the ending in this book, the actual regular version of this book, My Harry's Adventure, is completely different from the ending in My Harry's Adventure Female Edition. So... Yeah, um, there's a lot of changes in this book, so I believe it deserves a very much, very much appreciated, and probably gonna get a good score book review. And yeah, um, before we get into this book review, I just gotta say, first sponsor in two days, I know, crazy. We get a sponsor every few hours, no, first sponsor two days. I think after that SSS Sniper Wolf video I made, talking about how fucking ugly she is, I think all the Sniper Wolf fans got mad at me, and I guess Microsoft was one of them. Anyways, now we are being sponsored by Tesla. Let's roll a clip. We're introducing the Peeping Mobile. Yeah, you got the Peeping Mobile. We got Charlie here. He's on the set of Tesla. Okay. And yeah, you can drive the Peeping Mobile wherever you want. You know. Now, just beware, weird. okay? You always got to watch <laughs> out for animals. Just because you're riding a giant hog doesn't mean you can't run over one. Oh, I see one coming. I see one coming. Oh, damn, Charlie. Well, Charlie is showing no mercy. He is beating the dog to death with the front tire. He is, oh shit, that, that, got, that got violent. Oh crap, oh, oh damn. Oh, well fuck. No mercy, Charlie, no mercy. Okay, um, so yeah. Uh, buy our new Tesla. The, the big chonker, or the peeping mobile. Big chonker's just a bigger version, like a monster truck. And, oh shit, he's going back for seconds. Oh damn, okay. Oh yeah, uh, buy, buy the new Tesla. Now let's get to the review. I'm so fucking handsome. Bruh. And, and now for the blurb, okay? <sighs> Lily just found the coolest thing in the trash. This old bottle of Instatam. We'll put a dark sand tan in minutes. That's what the label says. So Lily and her friends do, but nothing much happens at first. Until Lily notices the hair, dark spiky hair, growing on her lower body and her armpits really gross shiny hair and also blood tripling down from her private parts hair that keeps growing back even after she shaves it off and blood that just keeps coming read aware you're in for um a lot of tampons that, that's a very interesting why am i outside what the well, I just realized I've just somehow gotten outside. That's weird. Um, we're removing this review back to where it should be now. There we go. Very peculiar, but, um, you're back. Anyways, yeah, that was the blur. Um, I'm very confused by that. I don't know if I ended up outside and why I was holding the book and recording that, but... 
Alrighty. Let's get to the upsides. You kill a young, 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 young. Ah, shit. Here we go again. And now for the downside. So, what are the downsides for this book? There aren't many, but I do want to say that this... No. I'm, I'm glad he did go in jail in the end of the story. It's just like, god damn it. It's just really weird it didn't last longer. Um, anyways, not speaking like a fucking weirdo. Uh, that scene was fucking awful. And another thing is... Why the fuck am I on a boat in my garage? This day keeps getting weirder and fucking weirder. I got this copy of The Girl Cried Monster. I didn't like the look of it, so I asked for a refund. One day declined, I pulled out this SMG and I said, Well, golly gee, I grabbed all the cash and ran. But I threw it in a fire. And just so you know, Mr. Moen, I will the Empire. So for the writing of this book, surprisingly, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. I found little to no issues in this book, and the one issue I did find was pretty bad, but... Overall, everything else in the uh, everything else in the story is just so unbelievably enjoyable. This book is better than sex. That's how good it is. And sex, I've heard it's pretty good, even though I've never had it because obviously I'm too fucking young and I'll never have it because I'm fat, ugly, and I'm a redhead. Anyways, moving on. It, it was just so enjoyable. There was literally no issues with this book besides, you know, that interesting scene and also because you know lily was a brat uh, in the first i don't know 34 chapters of this book well the last 69 were pretty good yeah um i hope you guys enjoyed this review tell me your thoughts on this incredible book below if you disagree of course since i'm gonna censor dummies i will happily decline that comment i'll delete it because i tore i'm totally that evil and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video um this has been a very weird recording and i'm glad we're in the normal setup for once so yeah well uh, bye That's reality. Nothing so strange as fiction. That's reality. My agent's on the job. That's reality. Life is on the road. That's reality. The only real truth is that of the mind. So my body follows through with the gas. What the? Where am I? Wow, the abominable Harambe of Arizona has just died. <laughs> <laughs>so yeah so i want to give this book like a six out of ten maybe a five honestly you know what four this book was just garbaggio honestly there wasn't anything really great about it it was kind of a letdown for being a part two to an actually pretty good series thousand book i might say 8.5 for the first one but yeah um this was really boring for being the alien invasion part of this but yeah um honestly 
I, don't, I, I could care less. This is the only L in the entire Series 2000 series. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tell me what you guys think about that. And once again, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.